So starting out as a domina, I was very, very nervous. And I was like, who are all these creepy dudes that just want to like stare at my butt and my legs and they're just like random weirdos. Anyway, so this like toad of a human comes up to me and I used to work at a club and he comes up and he's like, hey baby. And he was like really jiggly and so he's like, well, you're really tall, you're gorgeous, and I would really like to give you money just to smell your feet. And I was like, well, that's weird. But, because um, like I, I had no like experience, really. I was just like some random stripper in a Detroit club. And then, so I said, yeah. I was like, using money, why not? But he was so gross. Oh my God, he was so gross. Um, <laughs> and he used to live in Kid Rock's old house. So he was like really, really loaded. And all alone, <clears throat> he was probably like, I don't know, in his like 60s, like late 60s. And just like I said before, a toad of a human. He was so disgusting. Anyway, he used to love wearing a specific outfit when we would session. And it was this short pair of red boxers and a red cotton t-shirt and he painted one of his fingernails, just one, his pinky to be exact, bright red, because he was like down on the fact that, I guess, slave color red is, you know, whatever. He was fucking weird out. Anyway, so we're sessioning one day and I'm walking him around on the leash, just taking him for a walk, walking through this massive house. And I stopped and he was keeping up pace with me and because he, he was older, I was like, well, that's cool. But he's kept up pace with me, and I, you know, stopped and said, oh, you're such a good boy, and I, like, gave him a good pat on the head, and then it was, like, a car crash happened, and he stood up and yanked the leash out of my hand and was like, don't call me a good boy, and I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> like, why wouldn't I call you a good boy, isn't that a term of endearment, like, Anyway, and he was my first client ever, so I was like, what am I doing wrong? But really, in all reality, he's just a grumpy, lonely asshole who likes red. And he had a horse stick, which was cool. You know, that was fun. But, <laughs> yeah.